It's been a terrific year for the uh, Scottish FA JD Performance School programme. Um, you know, by the end of the year, we're now up to 100 professional contracts since the programme began. Um, eight of the boys, uh, made the eight 16 year olds made their um, Scottish League debuts this year. I think for me, in the four years in the performance schools, we're looking to to breed habits into these young players, habits that identify to a Scottish player, a Scottish player of the past, and it'll be a Scottish player of the future. So we're looking for you know technical skills, we're looking for awareness that we once had as well, but ultimately we're looking for that desire to play for your country. Now between 16s and 21s in the last calendar year, we've beaten England, Holland, France, Spain, Germany and Brazil on one-off games. Um, that's fantastic for the youngsters the way they are at the moment and it gives them confidence um, and we've got to have so much more. There's been a lot of highlights in the last year uh, with our youth teams, uh, especially some of the, the kids coming through. You know, young Dapo came through and has um, scored the winner against Germany this year. Um, Chris Hamilton and Billy Gilmer both going to the Toulon International Tournament four years at their depth uh, and Billy becoming breakthrough player of the tournament. Um, and Anthony McDonald and Harry Cochran both doing very, very well with Hearts this year and being involved in their first team at 16. Um, and Dean Campbell, you know, Dean becoming the youngest ever Aberdeen player last year when he made his debut, has had uh, more games this year and was on the bench at the weekend. So um, we're starting to see um, the fruition of this programme.